Yeah, 20 years of roots is great, man. It's exciting. Um, so blessed to be able to do this, be here, be doing. Um, roots was an album that uh, I started myself. I was already doing four track recordings at the time, which they actually started in the end of Arise. On the end of the Arise tour, I brought a four track machine. And I started traveling with that and riding on the road. And I wrote a lot for, for Chaos. Uh, Refuse, resist, territory. A lot of those were done in four track, and then I said, so I, I decided to do the same for Roots. So I had already at home before we even, before I even talked to the Sepultura guys, there was already a demo with the whole, pretty much the whole Roots song except for the end part. We didn't have the end part. Uh, I was just, I was just telling you a, a while ago. Uh, in the demo, it, it's fast, ends fast. Um, we posted the demo out on the internet. Gloria put out on, on one of her. Um, blogs things and uh, so it started with that I, I so I collect a lot of that material and then we went into the, the, the jam mode that, as we call it so the whole band goes and jams and that was that went on for a couple months then we work in stuff like Stray Hate they had the big build up beginning a lot of feedback uh, and then we work on uh, kind of like the heavier stuff the punk stuff or roots like spit Cutthroat, um, Attitude was one of the four tracks on. I had that on a demo, so it was heavily influenced by Brazilian sounds. Um, and then on the studio, we did a lot, a lot more experimenting with Rata Mahata, Look Away, um, Ambush, Endangered Species, you know. And then of course we we uh, close it with uh, Dictator Shit, which is full on hardcore. Um, and in in the studio we had Carlinhos Brown doing percussion, so we did the Canyon Jam. That it's on the CD that goes on for like 15 minutes after the record's done. And we had Look Away with Mike Patton uh, from Fade No More and John from Corn. Um, so yeah, it was a fun record to make. But it, it was not until now that I really dissected the record to play this tour that I went deep on the tracks. That I realized how cool of a record Roots really is. It is, a, it is really one of a kind. It's a groundbreaking record and it's got a lot of cool stuff in it that I kind of rediscovered on this tour that I love to play live. Stuff like Spit, Cutthroat, Stray Hate. So fun. Breathe Apart. It's so fun live. It's, I, I actually like those better than the classic songs. I love PV. I love this. You know, I don't have to to, to do much. You know, that it just sounds so powerful and heavy. And um, you know, I use two pedals just for uh, effects for other things. It's a Arawa and a flanger, and it's just for mostly for trippy parts. I use on Look Away, on these turbines, and on Look Away, um, and a little bit on Attitude. Um, but ov overall, the the sound. The main sound that, that I love, the heavy max sound, you know, the four string sound coming from the PV, man. It's awesome. I love it. You know, I can't, I don't know, switch to anything else. That's all I want to play. I love, I, I would never switch to uh, the other things that people are doing. You know, I talk to other bands that are doing it and I have arguments with them actually because I just think it's, the, the, the stage looks empty and it's not old school. I'm old school. I like old school things, you know. Uh, I don't even have a phone. I don't have a, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Facebook, you know. I don't have any of those. I'm old school. I'm the real old school. So I like the things to be like that on the stage. So I like the amp, the cabinets there. You know, you can physically touch them. You can shake them, you know. Uh, I can go and ask my roadie if I need my more distortion. It goes on the amp and changes, you know, live as the show is going. Uh, I wouldn't change that for nothing. I think that's uh, that's the way to go. You know, it's the old school way is is uh, for me. It's it's the best way that works. The stage looks good with the amps. I get to put my flag on the amp. You know, it's, uh, it's yeah. It's I wouldn't change it for anything, man. It's it's. It's the way to go. We're gonna do a little bit. Uh, the Roots tour goes all the way to Christmas. You know, we go to Europe. We have a long European tour, and then from Europe, from Moscow, we fly to Rio. 
we start the South American tour that's like seven eight shows in South America we get home literally a day before Christmas I think like the 23rd you know 24th uh, and then I think January I'm gonna write some more stuff hopefully for uh, for Soulfly and then February we start another roots tour in America um, it's a little shorter I think it only goes from February to March uh, but it's places like New York that we didn't got to do on this tour we're gonna try to do those there at that time and then hopefully after that is me back to writing some more and hopefully entering the studio uh, making a new Soulfly record and eventually at some point hopefully a new Killer BQ which I would love to, to do a second record for that too. I'm Max Cavalera. I am powered by PV. Stay metal. Ah!